Every year at Elevate, one of the things that people look forward to is our M&A panel, where we have speakers from all over, different vantage points, buyers, sellers, advisors. Just we try to get a great mix of perspectives, um, and the audience asks great questions. We don't even have a PowerPoint prepared behind us. We just talk about M&A. Every single year, I leave feeling like we needed a full day for it. So this year, we decided m and Next, how about a full day of M&A? So I think our goal with m and Next is just to get a, you know, a large group of like-minded you know, thought leaders uh, in the industry together just to kind of discuss uh, you know, what we're seeing in the industry and really what is next. It's easy to talk about best practices, but it's a lot harder to understand how to apply the best practices in real time. Um, and M&A happens so quickly. So what we'd like to do is create an environment where people are sitting there in real time making decisions that'll help them go back and, and execute their M&A strategies as buyers, sellers, or just people who want to transition internally and want to be prepared to build the highest value for their company. M&A Next really is for not only strategic um, acquirers, but companies that are in a growth trajectory that are looking for alternative growth mechanisms outside of organic growth hiring. People who want to know what the trends are right now, and that is something that everybody needs to know whether you've bought a thousand companies um, or whether you're just starting to think about it for the first time. We're going to talk about right now getting a pulse for, for what's going on in a white hot market like the one we're experiencing. We're always behind. I mean, all of the data that we have is lagging, right? It's always behind real time. So let's get people together in real time and talk about what we need to know. So C-suite leaders, people who are, are M&A strategic advisors, board members who advise um, the buyers and sellers of these companies, and also people at different levels in the organization who get pulled into M&A discussions, because that, that's always part of it. It's never just the CEO. So if you have a team that you want to be prepared to join you at the negotiating table, those people should be at M&A next so they can see how it's done.